This is the balcony view from our Airbnb. What's up amigos, it's John and I am in Valle de Bravo, Mexico, about two hours south of Mexico City. Another day, another vlog. Adriana and I have decided to come here midweek for two nights to check out this lakeside town. It's absolutely gorgeous and the Airbnb that we've booked might be one of my all time favorites. You've just gotta see this to believe it. And the cost was about $50 a night for this penthouse. Let me show you. Check out this outdoor deck. We've already put these hammocks to good use. Probably could have slept here. Nothing beats a few Coronas at sunset from here. I love the artwork here. It's just so many random little touches. Nobody's ever answered the line, but I'm hoping eventually. Probably one of the more comfortable beds I've slept in in a long time. And they provide breakfast service right at your door. We've got a basket of goodies here. All right. What's inside the goodie bag? A couple pieces of bread. I had to throw my jacket on, it's kind of chilly out here in the morning and then it gets super hot during the day and then at night it gets cool again typical uh, mountain sort of climate we're going to enjoy some breakfast i'm going to bring adriana on in a little bit we're going to walk to town and we're going to start this day this is adriana you ready for the day so uh i'm going to film as we leave the apartment here it is like an old museum Buenos dias. We are walking downhill right now and we're gonna head to town, which is about a 15 or 20 minute walk. We're gonna be passing some awesome views of the lake. I've got my GoPro packed right now and it's gonna be a pretty exciting morning. They sell everything on the road in Mexico, including morning newspapers. Smells so good, you have no idea. <laughs> what do we got? We got a concha. This one, it's red with a candy on top. And we have this, it's called different names biscuit. I don't know. But this is one is salty, this one is sweet. We've just about reached the outskirts of town, and uh, I like it here. My only complaint is that there's so much car traffic coming in both directions. I think I'd prefer if horses were just clittering and clattering by. But the views of the lake are awesome. So our first activity for today is we're gonna be renting ATVs from this tourist agency, and it's gonna cost us 500 pesos for two people. I've never ridden an ATV before, so this should be pretty exciting. And then I guess we're gonna go to our like. And we're gonna follow the guy? Yeah. For the first time in Here Be Bar vlog history, I'm wearing a GoPro on my chest. And hopefully this is going to capture pretty well. So accelerate, esto, brake, these two. Uh huh. Ready to go? Listo? Yeah. Um, filming myself. ATVing wasn't that bad. I mean, I was probably going a little bit slower than everybody else. I would say it's more like riding a bike than anything. You actually have to push the accelerator uh, with your thumb. But even for someone like me who's pretty clumsy with stuff, I think we managed to survive. So the guy just dropped this off here. What, what did he say? Um, uh, that the waterfall is here. So is this our only stop? No, I think it's the first one. I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow. I, my butt is going to be so sore tomorrow. I'm 
So we've decided to trade. Adriana wants to try riding the ATV because apparently I go too slow. <laughs> now our guide is going to uh, help walk us to the best viewpoint for this waterfall, which blows away the first one we stopped at. How did you get up there? You ready to go back? As long as it doesn't roll, but I think we're at least we're not rolling. And we are stuck on a hill. Well, I'm glad I was filming this moment. A long ways down. So we're gonna head for the uh, historical center right now. I do find a bit of an irony to Valle de Bravo. They have this beautiful lake, but you're not supposed to swim in it because there's too much uh, plant life and seaweed in there. And they're afraid you could get stuck. You can go kayaking and other boat trips, which I don't think we're gonna have time for on this trip. But it, it's kind of a tease because that lake is right there, but you don't see anybody swimming. Bueno, y las monjitas que? We're almost in the colonial center of Valle de Bravo, and this town is a, uh, a real hippie vibe, I would say. There's a lot of art galleries around, a lot of clothing shops. They actually had the Mexican version of Woodstock not too far from here in 1971. They had almost 300,000 people from North America, Central, South America, all coming here for a, a big festival, and I'm really not shocked after I've explored this area more. I think one of the advantages of coming to Valle de Bravo in, in comparison to some of the other colonial towns in Mexico, let's say you know, San Miguel Allende or Guanajuato, is that there are a lot less tourists here, especially during the week. I've maybe seen a handful of other foreigners here. This is just like true Mexico. Which means the alley of hunger, right? Exactly. And my friends recommend some Which one? God, everyone's everyone's here. This one? Oh my God! Oh my God! Stop! Ah, aquí está bien. This is Jaime. We just had 50 different taco shops trying to get us in. That was pretty crazy. Al pastor pork on the left, barbacoa beef on the right. Two beefs for Adriana, and she's a happy girl. That's how real Mexicans eat, just sitting down at a stall. I had a subscriber in the last video ask me to show more food from Mexico in my vlogs. Well, this one's for you, whoever you are, because I think your avatar is a dog, so if you're a dog or a man or a woman. That was quite good for about eight dollars and fifty cents we each had four tacos and a drink and that's one thing that you usually don't spend a lot of money on in mexico is tacos i feel like a million bucks right now after taking a nap a shower back at this secluded jungle hideaway over the lake and i'm actually about to do a live stream uh, for my subscribers i'm trying to do this uh once a week maybe twice a week if i have the free time because it's so easy to get done and i'm actually going to be filming a little bit of it for the vlog viewers so guys due to some strange technical error my camera lens wasn't closing while i was doing the live stream so i couldn't show you it that live stream was a total success i had about 15 people show up so I'll try to vlog the next live stream, do some kind of a crossover promotion if I can. But the sun is about to set, so I'm gonna create this amazing time lapse to close out today's vlog. But I do want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't already. And also the little bell notification button, that way you're gonna get emailed every time I create a new video. I've got so much more cool things coming out from Mexico City, you've got no idea. Just stay tuned for it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hasta la próxima. It's Einstein. <laughs> I was gonna put it here actually. Put it here.